I'm Joel Mallory. I'm the Executive Director of the Mental Health and Recovery Board of Portage County. Just a couple opening remarks. Addiction can happen to anyone. It's an issue of good people, with good families, struggling to fight addiction, and to also fight against stigma. We do know a number of things. We know it's a, addiction is a health problem, it's a chronic disease that affects over 40 million people in the United States. And that's more than the number of people that are dealing with heart disease, diabetes, or cancer. We know that people with trauma backgrounds are at a higher risk for developing a substance use disorder. But we also know that people who are connected to other people and have social supports have a higher likelihood of controlling their addiction. Substance use disorders are a treatment issue. They're not a moral or a criminal issue. We cannot arrest our way out of this problem. Even as we describe addiction as a health problem, it does require, as Joe mentioned, a comprehensive community approach. And that's a full range of options, including prevention and education, mental health and substance use disorder treatments, services that not only include counseling, but medications, which we'll talk about, also supports housing, as well as job training. We need our medical professionals, our local hospital, our physicians, our nurses, our pharmacists. We also need our criminal justice system, and that includes police, sheriff, judges, uh, prosecutors, probation officers, defense attorneys, and even the jail at times. We also need advocacy. We have some legislators here in terms of advocating for more services and, of course, more money. And finally, we, of course, need our families and their loved ones who are in recovery, as well as those who are struggling with addiction. So I'd like to introduce our first speaker, and that is Kelly Hart, who's in recovery. So Kelly, would you say a few words for us?